hit that button. Oh, and let's go to get more of the game and less of me. Alrighty, so one up is out as is RSE. Both teams with early grabs. No chases on RSE at this point. Return comes through by Depresso Expresso? Depresso Espresso. Alright. Is that Refe? No, it's not Refe. Who's Depresso This is the problem with all these people keep changing their names. I can't keep up with them. I don't know who is who. Uh, Zoo gets a grab, gets taken out by uh, Arstastic. The fact I gotta say that on stream is amazing. Uh, RSC gets a grab, moves out back right, and Eli with the pickup. Is uh, a bit outnumbered at the moment. It's just uh, the sole offense. No, here comes Zoo coming in. Gonna get that pickup. Depresso Respresso picks it up instead. Could at least not have been a tongue twister. It might have helped me out a little bit. Um, maybe I'll just call him De <laughs> Depresso. And uh, we've got Ars here. <laughs> got the grab. Could I have, could I have picked a worse map to uh, a worse pug to come and take with the uh, this sort of uh, this sort of shenanigans? All right. Blue team in control of the flag here. Gets chained out by Depresso. Could get the return here and does. Krista now with a chance to get the first cap, but Refe coming through, gets a grab, fairly low health, could get chained out here. Got a couple of people chasing, chains are out, Refe's probably not going to last very long, there's the kill. They could get a timed return here most likely, seldom sitting on it, returns straight away. Krista's got to look for the pass off, almost get a mid-air return there by Shaz. Depresso coming in now, will they beat Arsatic? No, Arsatic, oh, I thought Arsatic actually pulled out in the last moment and... God... I gotta watch what I say here. <laughs> Shaz looking for the pickup. Got the flag bugged a little bit there. But he's picked it up now a bit slower. Alright, so that's Danky. Alright, so uh, maybe I'll try to remember that and just call him Danky instead. The clearance coming in. Zoo gets out half, uh, half health. And, but, uh, making his way home. Not much chase. Eli's there now. Probably get some grenade spam in. Doesn't quite place it right. Zoo out now. We'll definitely be looking for that pass very quickly. Dangerous spawn out the back. Looks like to pass to Seldom, who wasn't interested in looking for the pass. Krista gets the pick up, though. High pass to Zoo. No, I just high pass generally, just to buy some time. And Shaz coming through gets the pick up. Red also have control of the flag for now. And we'll follow uh, Shaz as he's being chased down by Depresso. Nice chain work there by Depresso. Might have this. Probably does. One up is a little too high to get that return, to get that pick up. Zoo gets the pick up. Eli gets blocked by Krista. Great work there to deny the, uh, deny the E grab. And Shaz gets the late grab, but taken out on the, just after the uh, a second or two later from picking it up. RSC gets a very low health pick. I'm not sure if they took the damage on the stand or not, but it wouldn't have been recommended to grab at that low health. Zoo coming through. Eli looks like he's timed that pretty well. Seldom looking for the pick up as well. Eli decides, yeah, pretty safe to return at this point. No one's on route. Zoo fakes the grab. Might have... Uh, I want to change his mind on that if that uh, cap had come in, but uh, Shaz managed to get out. Was it Shaz? No, it was uh, RSC managed to get out just in time to stop the cap. One up camping, I think, on the stand, but a uh, couple on uh, midair and a chain out there. The flags return, both flags back at base currently. Yes, disaccurate. I, I noticed that too. <laughs> Uh, yes, choice of language with some of these, uh, when you got Arstastic and, uh, I should put the only one that's really bad. Despresso Respresso is actually just the one that's more, most difficult to pronounce. RSC tries to get that pickup. Looks like this flag's gonna out of bounds on the outside. No, get this back in in the end. 
Seldom hanging around, trying to do some damage. All five of the blue are here at the moment. Seldom's trying to weave around between them and dodge some fire. He gets taken out now. Red flag out in the field, and nice work by Krista there to get the return. Both flags reset now. <laughs> yeah, you know, got to got to keep it clean for the for the youngins who might be watching. <laughs> We've got to get some young blood in here. We can't just leave it to us 30, 40 year olds plus. And where'd, um, where'd Formula go? He was like 70 years old playing it there. We could, we could forget the younger crowd and just target on the 70 year old gamers. That might work. Um, Chaz coming through. Nice pick up by Seldo. Gets it off the stand. Chaz is going to need a pass very quickly. Pancakes a little bit. Down to one chain health. Drops the pass down the hill. Bouncing around. RSC sitting on top of it, waiting for the chance to get the return. Doesn't quite manage it. A lot of spam on this stand. Astastic maybe gonna pick it up. No. Gets taken out by Zoo. Zoo's still hanging around there, just trying to do some damage without dying, not committing himself to go for the return. And then he gets taken out in the end after his teammates have all bitten the dust. Krista hanging around the soft out-of-bounds grid. For those who uh, may be a bit newer to the game, the soft out-of-bounds grid allows you to go out for five seconds with the flag. After that, it will get automatically returned. Uh, there is a hard out-of-bounds grid as well, which uh, goes a bit further back. Right here. I don't think anyone's getting to that hard out-of-bounds grid anymore unless you're going at uh, super speed. It's probably more useful. Uh, it does stop. It's more for the... Um, for capping routes, I guess it's limiting. You can't go out uh, that far out of bounds. Maybe there's some crazy routes you could set up if you were able to go outside that uh, that grid. All right. Shaz could have the return here. Nice little bounce by Krista. Gets a second one. Nice return in the end by one up. Now, denki has got the flag passing it long, trying to get to Eli, but Depresso Espresso does some fancy air work, gets that mid-air return. Zoo. A bit of hide in. Denki's on his tail. Nice two-star mid-air by Seldom. Not easy to do on a ping of his. Just over 200. Allows Zoo to get home safe. Gets the pass off to Krista. Following one up now for the blue team. Wow, we'll, uh, let's watch a little first person view. There's a chain, grenades behind him. You can hear the sound zooming past his ears as those projectiles fly past. Thank you, he's got it on the stand now. RSC taken out. Kills himself in the end. Uh, thank you, getting the pass to 1 up. Gets the grab. Uh, opportune return. Nice timing as 1 up has had to move forward to get that grab. Just happened to be moving towards the flag stand at the same time. Didn't give Red any time to react. Get that flag off the stand and that's 2-1 now to the red team so as mentioned uh in discord we will probably be giving away a beta key on stream if we have some users in uh some viewers who don't currently have a key so let us know if you are if you fall into that category Nice uh, stand kill and immediate return there by the blue team. And once again, another stand return. Let's them control where that flag goes. And now 2-0 two, two very quickly becomes 2-all. As the blue team start picking up a couple of points. RSC cu cups a mid-air. Gets pushed out of bounds and finished off by a hand grenade. Watch Seldom coming in. Looks like Red are fairly well timed here. RSC decides not to go for the grab. Zoo is spotted. Takes some damage on the stand. But he's out fast enough that he's going to be able to get home no problem. And looks like Red are going to have this one locked up. Let's swap over to Red Team here. Krista's got it. Not moving towards stand at this point. Taking a little bit of more of a defensive approach. Waiting for his teammates to... Hoping his teammates can stop that grab. But Refe gets out with... Hardly any damage taken at all. Nice mid-air by Krista on Shaz. Zoo. 
Focus on his target more than the grab. Looks like he's a timed return here. Not quite perfectly timed, but the cap still manages to come through for him in the end. And Red regained the lead. Let's uh, follow RSC on his routing. Looks like he might be doing some clearance here because I don't think he'll be wanting to grab at this speed. It's mid ed by Eli. Seldom coming in now. Where's Zoo? Zoo's still at base. No, am I looking at the wrong team? Where, where is Zoo? There he is on his back, back left here. Coming through now. Eli spots him, but Zoo should be able to get out. Takes a disc, which kills some of his speed. One up gets a grab, taken out immediately. Somewhere along there, there was a three star mid air. Uh, must have missed that one. And Red regain uh, their two cap lead, which they had earlier. Blue managed to pull it back and draw it level. Seldom cops a little bit of chain from Eli on his route in, getting him down to almost half health, less than half health. I'm sure there's going to be much Seldom can do on this route, so he's going to do some clearance. RSC's not grabbing, looks like it's going to be left for Zoo. Coming in now again on that back left. Eli looks like he's spotted him. Zoo hangs a little bit extra, waits to grab it on the stand. He loses all his speed in the meantime though, and he's absolutely destroyed by the chain. But Blue are uh, struggling to get that flag back home at this point. Looks like uh, Krista and Depresso Respresso. I'm actually enjoying to say that more and more every time I say it. Um, uh, locking down the, the D a little bit, man. As just, of course, as I say that, Shaz gets out. He's very close to getting a, a grab. Just needs to get that chain out on RSC. Needs some support from his blue friends. Needs to pass it off very quickly. He's looking around, looking for that pass. Seldom still in there. He's got to bounce that flag. Gets a, buys him a little bit of time. Depresso Respresso gets the grab. And he's out at good speed. Chris is going to have that return as well. So this gives an opportunity for the red team to turn it around. Not a lot of chase at this point. There's some long range chain coming in. Eli's getting a couple of hits in. Depresso, Respresso gets the pass off to Seldom. Seldom misses it. Not easy to judge flag passes at higher ping. Seldom's learnt that one the hard way this time. Uh, red flag comes off the stand and. Looks like I might have missed the three-star mid-air by Shaz. A couple of big mid-airs happening, just not quite catching them. One up looking to get this pick up. Nice, it gets bounced, but he manages to pick it up anyway. He's going to lose some speed on this hill though. So Krista and Depresso Espresso both waiting to get him now. The chains come out nice. Two-star mid-air by one up. Gets the pass off to Shaz as well. And uh, they'll be able to move that flag back home. Looking back at the red team now. Krista's holding onto the flag. Supported by Zoo. Looks like Zoo's mainly going to be the one on flag capping duties. Seldman RSC not quite getting the speeds on figuring out the right routes on this map. That puts them up by three now. Alright. I need to jump off for one second. I'll be right back. I'll just leave it locked on this flag for a moment. Alright, excuse my absence there, uh, looks like the scores are still 5-3, so 5-2 that is, so nothing's really changed there. Um, yeah. So, let's continue, Shaz, trying to get 
maybe trying to get to the top of that little silo there or mana generator, whatever you want to call it. Has a second go at it, gets on top now. A bit of long range chain on Zoo, nothing's hitting yet. Midair on RSC. And Shaz, I'm not sure if he meant to fall off there, but puts himself in a little bit of danger here. A direct hit could take him out, but he survives and grabs the uh, death nugget left by RSC and retreats back to the top of that generator. Taking up a defensive position here. So he's just hanging around the flag stand just in case the red flag gets returned. He'll be there for a grab. But he's uh, spotted by the other members of the blue team and now would be pretty ineffective at any sort of uh, flag grab. stanky has got the flag now. Passes off to Shaz. Looks like things are pretty locked up on the blue side. Let's check red. Rafe getting chained out by Krista and Depresso Nas Depresso Respresso. I keep going to say Depresso Expresso or Nespresso, the coffee brand. But, uh, long range grenade spam coming in by Eli gets Krista down to about a third health, maybe less. Bit of chain coming in. Pass isn't quite right, which bounces here. Depresso Nespresso <laughs> is low health, gets it off to Krista. And looks like they've got this one secured for now. Rafe coming in solo. Pushes Krista out of bounds. Got to get that flag back in quickly. Passed it off on an angle, which was a little bit risky, but I think they had enough time. Five seconds is a bit longer than what most people think, which is a weird thing to say. I think what I'm meaning to say is people misjudge just how much time you have out of bounds. Um, they panic as soon as you go out, but you do have time to adjust. All right. Presso needs to get the pass off, doesn't find anyone, decides to fight instead. Gets the pass off to Christo, gonna get bounced here by Refe, good chance for Blue, there it is, there's the return. Uh, Denki's got the flag, but he's low health. Everyone in Blue's back here, so they've respawned to lock this up. Here comes the crash, Depresso's gonna be able to get a grab off the stand. And uses that nice little valley there, uses the angles and he's got out, no chase. And they should be able to get that one back home. Maybe get a cap out of it as well. No, taken out on the stand by 1UP and Eli. And there's the return for Blue. So, almost a cap for Blue. It turns into an almost cap for Red. But both denied moments before that cap can be, secu uh, be, before that cap can be secured. Alright, let's watch. Let's watch Rafe. Coming in now. It's not going to be an easy pick up here. Gets the grab. Throws it forward, Shaz coming through. Of course I missed that. Got the grab, but he's very low health. Someone's got to come out to meet him. Rafe looks like he's going to do just that. Ref There's the kill. Rafe low health gets taken out. Danky coming forward for support. Grenades, not quite on the flag, does get the kill. Just um, centimeters away from the flag return there. Manages to save that one. And pass coming back to Shaz. And it's like another flag standoff. Just under a minute and a half to go. So Red are going to come away with the win here. Well, very likely anyway. Considering it's been a fairly low scoring game. I wouldn't expect to see this one go uh, to overtime now. You'd need uh, two quick caps for blue and a flag touch. Considering they've only managed two caps in 19 minutes. Um, Shaz would need to be pretty much sitting on the stand and hoping that flag return comes in. Don't want to do anything that's waste time. But, yes, looks like it'll be a red team win for map one. And map two, I believe, is meant to be another fairly, um, you know, not often played pug map in uh, Fatal Fortress, which is a inspired by one of the Tribes of Sen maps. Okay, Shaz, 30 seconds to go. Let's go watch what's happening over on this side here. Nice mid-air by Krista on one up. It's the pick up. On the other side, the flag has been dropped. Might be a chance at a return here. So I'm gonna drop on it, gets the return. Chance for Red to put that final nail in. There it is, 6-2 win for the Red team on map one. There's still another map to go. Um, 
Now, as mentioned, we'll do a key giveaway now. If there's anyone in chat at all that doesn't have a key, let me know. Your and we'll run a giveaway. A Otherwise, I just won't run the giveaway. <laughs> Boss of Spades has it. Uh, did you say... No, he said something else. I thought he said me, that uh, he uh, didn't have a key. But I know he has a key. All right, so... Map one is done. Uh, good win there uh, by Zeus. Oh, sorry, the team, the captain was Krista. He was the captain. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I'm not going to check. Um, so it will be up to. Um, it will be up to the uh, blue team then to try to come back, and looks like they're going to do Brynhild and not. Fatal Fortress. Um, if they want to tie this pug, because it's a best of two, don't need to win this one. Warm-up has started, so we'll be getting a start on this map very shortly. Right, just getting this ready, and I'll be in it in a second. All right, we'll do a key giveaway. We're gonna go, keyword is, we'll just do midair. Go and uh, type midair into the chat and that will enter you into the key giveaway. I will not be giving a keys to anyone who already has one. So if you already have a key, please do not enter. And I'll, uh, oh, I gotta put myself in observer. Yikes. <clears throat> um, and I'll draw that shortly. In the meantime, let's watch some action here from the point of view of Eli. Eli trying to get this flag returned from Krista. There's the return for the red team. Zoo a chance to get the first cap for the red team here. Krista coming in, there was a grab, died on the stand, Depresso, Nespresso picks it up, and the first cap the for red, the they draw first blood, and everyone starts off again, reset, Shaz tries to get a hit on Zoo, doesn't quite manage to do so, uh, just repeating that again, any new player wanting to get themselves a key, please type midair into chat. And that will enter you into the giveaway. Otherwise, Jester, who I assume isn't the Jester that's a developer in midair, is going to be the one to get the key. And we have no problems with that. Is that the, uh, the guy in Discord who likes Tribes Vengeance? That your alter alias. RSC getting chained out by Eli and nice scoop by Zoo. One of the two Australians playing in this North American pug. Shaz gets out as well. So a bunch of a bunch of internationals in this pug. We've got a couple of Australians, a couple of Euros. Rafay getting the chain out on Zoo. Gonna get this return as well. No, it gets bounced over the top. Shaz has a chance at the return. Oh no, Eli, sorry. There it is. Danky gets the pass to the stand. One up picks it up. There's some grenade spam on the stand taking him out. The return looks like it's secured. Grenade spam coming in. One up doesn't have much health, but locks it up. And Blue take the lead, and they'll need to hold on to that if they want to draw this pug. All right, Electron, so the key's yours for the taking if no one else enters, so we'll give it a couple of minutes. So 
Got him. Try and do a bit of damage to Danky, but uh, not much. But Kappa's coming in now. Zoo misses his grab. So does RSC, and that's punished by the blue team as they manage to get that cap. Put themselves up. Uh, three to one. Just under four minutes into this map. Rafe showing off his purple flag uh, jet trails here. It looked like he might have used some of his credits from the tournament to buy some bling. That's not the default, is it? No, this is... Zoo might have the default. Seldom coming through now. Getting in there at a good speed as well. Nice work by Seldom. Gets a pass off to Krista. Shaz holding it. Flag at the other end, which might get returned by Zoo. And now some pressure on Blue to stop this cap. Krista gets hit. Only managed to bounce him a little bit, but not enough to worry him out of the points. Shaz goes for a low health grab, throws it forward. Not sure how helpful that was. There's no one from Blue looking to... There's a lot of Blue chaining out Zoo here. Sorry, Zoo. Um... Espresso Nespresso gets the pickup, needs to pass it off very quickly. Zoo's waiting for that return, returns it now, moves out of position of that flag grab. Shaz gets the E grab, looking to throw it forward. Uh, sees Danky now. Nice work there. And I think the server just crashed. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay, so I guess I'm not sure what they're going to do there. If they're going to restart it, I'm going to go and draw this key giveaway. I wonder who's going to win. <gasps> Congratulations, Electron. 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 Yes. Not Jester. I'm gonna, I can't call you Jester because we already have a Jester. So I'm going to call you Electron. Um, so. While we're waiting to see what happens with this server and if they're going to swap servers, I will give Electron his key. Da, da, da. And yeah, I'm not sure about the server crashes. We've got some um, data on it that it might have something to do with uh, mid-air flag returns or something to do with the stats involved. Um, the, the points and things that we're the point system we've been uh, trying to uh, implement to help balance the scoring between players. So it's not something that's coming up often. I mean, we have pugs that uh, public servers that run for you know with with full numbers for most of the day, and we don't get that many crashes. So it's it must be a particular scenario. I wonder. I don't know if it's an observer thing. I mean, I was just observing and, and swapping views and things, and but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, let me get onto Electron's key, and let me uh, also poke my head into the Pugs channel, see if they're changing server, or if they're just going to end it. Uh, it. Looks like they might be still going. Maybe they just jumped server. Let me check that out first. That should probably be my... Maybe they've gone here. All right. Uh, and... Who is this? This is Colonel Blair. Um, all right, so they're starting up again. So I'll have to get to your key a little bit later. Um, Electro. Bald and jacked. Who said I was bald? I'm balding. Balding. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, I'm balding. A bit um, tall, about six foot four. Um, jacked. I wouldn't say I'm jacked. I do exercise most days, but uh, I don't know if I'd say I'm jacked. All right. So I'm not sure what the plan is here. Whether they're just going to completely replay the map, um, or whether they're going to continue on from where they were. I imagine that. They will play assuming the two cap lead, I think, that the blue team had. I think it was two caps. Someone can confirm that for me if they remember. Um, uh, 
Uh, look, for height, I guess, for me, I guess for height, um, because I play basketball and, and most basketballers are uh, uh, judged on their height using um, feet and inches, I probably only use um, that metric uh, in regards to height, but probably not for anything else. Like, I don't use miles or uh, gallons or... Uh, <laughs> But um, for height, I do. It's like, it's a kind of an estimate. I, I wouldn't even know exactly what I am in centimeters. Um, they're low 190s, I think. 194 or something. Um, Alright, so Rafe is out after Red got that first cap. Which, uh, I believe... Yeah, I'm not sure if they're just playing the map again. Or playing, assuming, the scores that they had before. I'm going to assume they would... Um, I would assume if they, uh, I assume they're keeping the scores they had before, so I, I imagine if, uh, Blue get to, I think it was 3-1, to one, so if Blue get to 5 caps, that would be a win for them. But the momentum shift may change, so Blue had the momentum, can Red take it going into the start of this replay? Uh, they certainly the first cap, so... Blue Red sitting on that flag, both flags return. Let's watch Izu starting a wrap. So let's jump onto him. Our veteran Australian player. Been playing since the Tribes 1 days. He's no stranger to FPS Ed games. Um, a grappler. Look, uh, there's certainly been some Tribes Vengeance players wanting a grappler. I don't know if it's going to quite fit the... The meta. Maybe it's something good for a pub game. You could slingshot off some of these trees or something. But, uh... Unfortunately, I find that... The grappler probably just increases the reliance on chain guns. Because... Uh, with people able to stay in the air for a lot longer, there's less chance for the grenades and discs to get that splash damage. Um, so you'd either be relying on being really good at your mid-airs. Or otherwise, you'd be going with the chain gun. And I don't think we need to add any extra alliance on the chain gun, even if grapple would be some added fun. Um, now, uh, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, Depresso will be lazy. That's right. That makes sense. The team captain of the red team. Depresso, Nespresso. <laughs> We're going to say Nespresso, Nespresso. Um, Danky gets the cap. I'm glad someone told me who that was, so I don't have to say Arstastic the whole time. Uh, and that evens the score up. Zoo, low health. Got to get this pass off really quickly. Wait till he gets to the apex of his jet. Pass off to the stand. No one able to pick that up. Bounced around. Chris has got it. Low health. Drops down Zoo with a nice mid-air catch. Certainly not easy to do on a high ping. Especially a 250 ping. Zoo's showing up his skills there. One of the premier Australian players, if not the premier Aussie player. And that regains the lead for the red team. Well, it does on the replay, but if uh, we're counting in Blue's two cap lead, that effectively means Blue should still be up by one cap. Uh, for those who are joining us late, there was a server crash when... Um, Blue was leading, so they probably have discussed in the voice channels about what they're going to do. I assume they're keeping the same scores, and I don't know if that if they're caring about the time so much. But with that cap, I believe the scores should be equal. Uh, Alright, so I was just trying to keep up with what was going on in chat. We see uh, Kristoff showing off one of these new uh, disc launcher skins there. We've got the... Uh, looks like might even have the whole purple set. Why is it not letting me... Uh, oh, there we go, because I wasn't in third person view. Uh, looks like oh, it doesn't have the whole set. I saw the chain gun there. It was still a, a grey colour. So Got the uh, white sort of snow skin. All the different uh, 
Jeez. Let's see if we've got anything there from um, Lazy. But, uh, was he in the tournament? I thought he would have played in the tournament. Nice mid-air, two-star mid-air by Refe. They got that flag returned. One up. Looking to get the grab. Lazy meets him with a two-star mid-air. Zoo gets it over mid, getting chained out badly by Shaz and Danky. Krista with the pickup. I think Shaz thought he had the return. Or someone. Who was it? Was it Shaz? I thought whoever thought they might have had the return there, but uh, Kate out. Or alternatively, might have been the home D and needed to get back to assist. Um... Shaz gets mid-aired by Lazy. Yeah, Eli coming in for a slow grab. Refe coming through. Might be able to get the pass off. Oof. That didn't quite work out, unfortunately. Uh, Refe looks like he's going to try to pick it up anyway. Krista gets some damage on him. And both flags locked up by the defense here. Zoo kind of hanging around at the back. Looks like he might go for a back grab here. Shaz uh, spotted him and was than a match for the wily antics of Zui. Seldom gets a slow grab out in the low 100s. Gets it over mid. Might even be able to get the cap here. Chain's coming through. Gets him down to half health. Seldom doesn't look to go to the stand. Probably a good move. Shaz tries for the mid air rather than the ground pound. And misses. Puts red up now. 6-1. This flag return. Well, I think that's it. Looks like uh, Red might have had two caps before uh, that flag, before that server crash. So that will be the end. We've got some of the players disconnecting now. So that is a win for the Red team after Blue was started to put up a fight. That server crash killed their momentum and Red have destroyed them in the end in that, uh, in the replay. So that is... Um, going to be the end of this pug, which is a bit of a funny way to end it, considering the uh, the game didn't uh, the, the, the game didn't end the map, it was the um, there we go, all the players now have left um, just because of that um, because of that reset but uh, got, saw some good action gave away a key hopefully some people got to see the first map, which is Silvus, which uh, is one of the newer maps and yeah, I'll try and get another cast in soon. It's just as it fits around in my work, it's hard to uh, schedule these things. Um, but it is getting close to my lunchtime, so I'm going to start cooking my lunch, I think. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, anyone who was watching that first map, if you have any suggestions on it, feel free to leave it in the feedback channel. All right. Uh, Catch you later.